bicycle license plates, they're a very good crossover collectible <clears throat> when it comes to collecting general transportation items. People collect motorcycle plates, bicycle plates, auto license plates. There's a whole hobby just around collecting license plates. Uh, here in Massachusetts, uh, in the 60s and 50s, and in, I know in many other states also, everybody used to have to register their bicycles and you used to get a metal license plate. I don't have any of those to show you today because we just recently sold a bunch of old plates, but they're a great collectible. If you go to a yard sale, you might see a rusty old bike and it has one of these license plates on it, especially if it's a metal license plate, particularly if it has a year on it. Buy the, buy the plate, strip off the parts of the bike, and throw away the rest because plates are very collectible. What we have here, these were from a serial campaign. They consider these serial license plates. If you look at the dates on them, they're from the 1980s. I think some of these might go, yeah, these are 1978 over here. They're not that old, but they are collectible. It used to be, I believe the cereal was post-brand post cereal. You could cut the box tops off of these cereals and turn them in and get these license plates. Uh, there was one for every state. They did a series of them in 81, obviously, and in 78. But years before that, in the 60s and 50s, they also had plates from all the different states. The older they are, the better the condition they are, the more collectible they are.